What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're here at the 2023 PGA Merchandise Show. I'm here with Dennis from Pro T United. A lot going on this year for you guys. I'm staring at three brand new launch monitors. Why don't we uh, talk a little bit about them? Um, tell us a little bit about each one. Yeah, well, we have some exciting news to share because we're finally launching our three different type of launch monitors. And we're presenting them here at the 2023 PGA Show. So I'm glad you're here, Jay. So I'm we can glad to be here. I'm go at, through them a little bit. I'm and, uh, excited to hear all about them. So um, why don't we start with the one, I think I have it in the camera. Once again, guys, I'm using the wide angle because I want to be able to show as much as possible. It's not quite as high quality as the normal view, but it's important to show this. This RX is actually on an angle and there's a reason for that because you set it up either for a right or a left-handed golfer. And I want to say that it works in a smaller space, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, basically these are ceiling launch monitors. Yep. Uh, High-speed dual vision cameras, all of them. Okay. So they're all accurate, they all measure everything, you know, they all do what they're supposed to do. Awesome. Well, we split them up in three different systems. And the difference is uh, if it needs marked balls, for example. Okay. If it's got AI integrated, and also uh, the design is important. Okay. So you're also paying a little bit more or less for the design and the functionality. All right, yeah. fantastic. So we got a very nice entry model, which starts at 5K. All right. Which is our introduction price. Competitively priced, 5,000. Very competitively. Um, this uses Mark Bowles. Okay. Which are, you know, I've got a couple of them right here. Oh, nice. I'll bring that a little closer for everyone dot pattern and this is a something that they would just buy directly from you or I'm Pro sure they a could reseller probably or a get stickers or something. Yeah. Yeah, we so. make sure we have plenty uh, distributed across the world to make sure you got always your balls. Okay, to play makes it. sense. Yeah. Uh, the advantage of this uh, unit is that it fits into a small space and as you can see it's very close to the projector here. Yeah, very close. So um, it needs about 10 feet okay. in width but the disadvantage is you can only facilitate uh, right-handed players or left-handed players. Yeah, but for the yeah. personal home, I can just see that a huge advantage. You know, be off, offset in a yeah. small space, so Absolutely. big advantage for a lot of people. And yeah. You guys probably can't see the projector. It's probably just over two feet behind the unit. Um, so yeah, no, that's, that's a very unique design. I mean, I, you don't see many you know mounted on an angle like that, no, and uh, no, that's no. a huge advantage to yeah. you know being offset in a small environment. Yeah. All right, next up, what, what's this one called? That's the VX model. VX. You can see it has a little uh, bit different design. Okay. Uh, more sleek. Uh, it got some metal brush uh, around the uh, the edges. Yeah, I like that. And you can see the infrared lights. They will turn on when it finds the ball. Okay. There's absolutely no shot delay. Uh, I did notice that. Yeah, when he's hitting the ball, if you guys pay attention to that. I mean, it's we're on TGC 2019 right now. He hits a ball and it's and it's it's gone. And is that the one that we're connected to right now? That's the one we're playing with All right, right now. All right, VX, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, full ball data, and I guess we should have touched that on this. Um, what's providing club data? What's providing ball data? They're all providing club and ball data. So you, oh, with all, all the systems, you get everything you need wow. to improve your game. Uh, the thing is we got in the RX, we got some AI integrated. Okay. So that means your uh, the clubs do not require any stickering. Okay. Yeah, it, but we have limited to club speed and face angle. Just some data, enough to uh, get you uh, enough information about the club, but without stickers. Okay. Yeah, stickerless. And it's actually reading the club. Absolutely. Fantastic, yeah. okay. And then we step up to the next one we were just talking about. That's ball and club as well. That's ball and club. Uh, the VX system requires a ball with some sort of marking. Like I noticed you had the TPXs here, yeah. These these balls work great. Yeah, yeah. and these they're nice great. balls, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so that's a simple solution for a user. All right, so a little heavier marking to give it give it something to lock into. You can even, you know, if you if you put a couple of lines on the ball with a, with a, with a marker, whatever, yeah. it will work. Okay. The logo will work as well. Now, I don't recommend markers because no. I've watched things. it come yeah, off yeah, on yeah, the yeah, screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but um, that's that's where we're at. And we will improve that algorithm uh, over time. Yeah, you guys are kind of still in development, right? Oh, absolutely. This, this awesome. will never stop. We're yep. going to improve it. Great. And the nice thing, or the good thing about the AI integrated uh, functionality in these systems is that we uh, the, the systems are learning. So every shot we record, 
will go into a learning system okay. and the system, the AI system will become smarter. So it will detect more and more types of clubs. So we can oh, get wow. more and more accurate over time with every club. Style, design, all that. Correct. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. And then our this is our top of the line model, right? It's our top of the line, but it has full AI integrated, but still with the mark balls. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So and we're trying to uh, create something for every type of users, but with a small uh, uh, difference in price. Okay. But with all the units, we will constantly improve functionality. And it might also be that at some point when you buy the RX right now, you might be upgrade the f uh, be able to upgrade the firmware later to detect like markerless ball. Okay, which makes sense. I mean, I see a lot of technology that's constantly releasing enhancements, and that's that's a great right. thing. It's good to know that you guys are going to continually work on it. It's not just going to set the, it no, and forget no, no, no. That's it, right? Still idea. And I want to. Uh, I'm going off the hip. Correct me if I'm wrong. 5,500, 6,500, 7,500. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and those are U.S. dollar prices. Yeah? U.S. dollar. US so if dollar. the if the dollar comes down, yeah. it comes more closely to the euro. So then you're talking about. 5,000, 6,000, Okay, 7, something And if it to, goes really bad with us in Europe, you might be able to buy it for 4,000. Okay, all right, that's something to keep in mind if the dollar gets stronger or weaker. Yeah. So I appreciate you pointing that out. Buy when it's weak. <laughs> yeah, clarify one thing for me. Now, the most expensive one, it requires Mark Balls. What is the advantage over the others? These two systems basically are very close. Okay. Uh, this has got some, um, the, the RLX has got some extra features in there. It has a LED display or sort of LED display. I see that. If you, if you uh, put a ball in there, it will show a golf. Ah. So you can, on that unit, you can see uh, Ready which, to hit. Who's, who's next, basically. You oh, can give nice. every golfer an, his own color, like okay. a red color or a green color. So you can see, oh, I'm, I'm next because of the colors. All right. Yeah. Nice feature. All right. So we got some extra features built in that unit. Yeah. And then, real quick, a uh, couple things. I know there's going to be more questions, and I'll answer them in the comments. Um, ceiling height. Are we at that 9 to 10 foot? I mean, Absolutely, is there, yeah. That's, yeah. That's kind of the yeah. range. Yeah. It, can you go below 9, or is it not recommended? You can, but we're going to have the unit uh, pre-calibrated okay. for lower height. Ah, yeah, so, so, the, the, so you, the, you're going to let, you know, the you guys know, yeah. hey, I'm at eight and a half feet, you're going to calibrate it and uh, yeah, be good yeah. to go. So, the, so cool. the, the default we have, at uh, it will work between nine feet and I think it's, it's, it's 11 or something. Okay. You know? But we will have an option to order it for uh, seven feet or eight feet. Okay. And then we will recalibrate the lenses so it works in that space and you get a special unit for it. All right. And no additional cost, of course, but it will be for your height. Very, very cool. A uh, couple last questions, if you don't mind. I appreciate you spending the time with us. Um, we're playing on TGC 2019 right now. Did the units come with this software, or is it an add-on purchase? It's an add-on purchase, but okay. a discounted add-on. And oh, it, of nice. course, if you already own a TGC, it will work right away. You're good to go. You're and good then to go. a question that people were already asking me with the little teaser images I was sharing on social media. Are these units going to be able to be connected to other software that's out there? Absolutely. They will be. All right. They so there's be. the answer that so many, you know, answer to the question that so many people are asking. So you can connect to other software. Um, now, is that through an interface? Or are you going to work with the software developers for each something like it that? It will either be through an interface or we work directly with the software developers. Like E6, for example, will be directly integrated into the system. Okay. And others will be able to use a special interface that they can the connect every to. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Dennis. Thank you so much for all the information. You're welcome. Um, I look forward to watching these develop, and uh, we'll be showing them in the channel. So stay tuned for a lot more. We'll be diving into them. Make sure you comment below any questions that you have. Obviously, a lot more videos coming from the 2023 PGA Merchandise Show. Dennis, thanks again. Stay tuned, guys. There'll be a lot more coming soon.